Good morning. Uh, Caitlin and I haven't done a vlog style video in quite a while and I work from home on Fridays. I actually have a lunch date today so I'm going to make myself look a little bit more presentable than I normally would on a work from home day because like this is normally what it is. Pajamas all day. It's fantastic. And then tomorrow, Caitlin and I have a wellness and shopping event with the Annapolis Harbor Loft in Annapolis, Maryland. If you remember, we've worked with Loft in the past and we're working with them again. We're very excited. There's going to be several wellness vendors at the store. Uh, God, I need coffee, I can't even. I don't know why I'm trying to tell you important things before I've even caffeinated myself. So let me remedy that. This is my pride and joy, my Nespresso machine. I desperately need to order pods. Good morning. Oh, hello, Mr. Sleepy. Hi. Sit. Good morning. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, do, 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 do. you're so sweet. If you've watched our Amazon videos, you're gonna recognize this mug tree, this mug rack that I have. Um, and I've got quite a collection of mugs that actually <laughs> live in that cabinet and that cabinet and then also here. I just have so many. Uh, Caitlin and I have really been loving the Shea Gagne mugs recently, so we have Welcome to the Shit Show. I have one in the cabinet that says Breakfast Wine. And then this is my newest addition. HBIC, it's what I always call Caitlin and I, focus, head bitch in charge. So I'm gonna use him today, her today. Her, definitely a her. I actually don't really sweeten my espresso right now. God, he's so happy. I never really used to, uh, just because I was trying to avoid sugar, but I follow uh, a gal on Instagram that I really love. Her name is Real Balanced. I'll tag her. I'll tag her below. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure her name is Sarah. She was super helpful for me whenever I was going low FODMAP, trying to figure out my GI issues, and she works a lot with Lakanto, uh, which is the brand. They make various gluten-free sugar replacements. This one is made with monk fruit. I think most or all of their stuff is made with monk fruit. You could use it in place of regular sugar, which is what I've been doing lately. I just take a really small amount on a teaspoon and I put it in my espresso and it just kind of amps it up. So I don't know if I can go on about my espresso machine anymore. It's actually the best thing I've ever purchased for myself. I think ever. I talk about it and I use it more than anything I've ever purchased, so I'm gonna say that that's accurate. I need to wash my face, I need to put real clothes on, I should put a bra on. Uh, if you are wondering what I'm wearing, it's the bamboo, uh, the bamboo night shirt, three quarter length sleeve from Amazon that we talked about in our most recent Amazon favorites video. So if you haven't watched it, I hope you do. If you found us from that video, welcome. We're so excited to have you here. Caitlin and I are really ramping up the amount of times that we're posting this year. So we're aiming for two videos a week. Uh, keep in mind, we both have full-time jobs and families. So uh, we're very busy but we really love what we do on the internet and it's a lot of fun for us and we get to meet so many amazing people, uh, both in real life and through the comments. So I hope you support us, stick with us. We just celebrated our third year anniversary as a business and I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see where we'll be in a couple years because I think things are really starting to pick up for us and we're working really hard and I think it shows. Uh, if you've been with us since the beginning, thank you. It was a struggle. We were not very consistent there for a while. If you just started hanging out with us, we're so excited to have you. Hope you stick around. We're a lot of fun, you know, and we're, we're just two real broads. That's what we always say. We're not really curated. We're not filtered. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> but anyways, this nightshirt is freaking phenomenal. I'm going to buy another color, I love it so much. I actually sized up, so I got it in a large, which is like 
is quite big. <laughs> I probably could have dealt with a medium, so I think I might order a medium in the next go around. It has this pocket, which I didn't think would prove useful until I'm carrying food and drinks, and I also need to carry my phone, and I just put my phone right there. It works. So I don't know if you follow us on Instagram. If you don't, then you totally should, because we're really active there. I, um, I cleaned out my lipstick collection a couple of weeks ago, and it was embarrassing the amount of lipsticks that I was hoarding. Uh, and I was just feeling really generous and grateful to have all of you guys. So I decided to do a little impromptu giveaway in which I was giving away my mine and Caitlyn's favorite formula of lipstick right now, which is Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution. And the winner happened to be a Baltimore local and she's a new mom. And I just think who deserves some new treats more than a new mom no one so i'm meeting her today for lunch actually we are going to hang out i've met her one time uh, she actually a couple of years ago invited caitlin and i to a brewery for a release of a coffee stout if i'm not mistaken i'm really happy that she won definitely look for more impromptu giveaways in the future we're never going to be one of those people who are like we're giving away an iphone with 30,000 other bloggers go follow all of them <laughs> we're not going to do that not for us anyway if you do it and it's working for you then great you should stick with it but i don't think it would work for us um so i'm meeting her today she picked out her lipstick i let her pick her color because it's like all these people give away stuff but what if it's not your color, you know? I want you to have a say in what you're getting. So I bought it after she picked her color. Otherwise, I almost feel like it's like, hey, I have this brand new product, but I don't like the shade, so I'll just give it to someone. So I'm excited to hang out with her. I It's a big goal of mine this year to kind of get out there, put myself out there, meet new people. I'm very much an introvert, which you would never guess because I put myself on the internet. It's like a challenge for me to Put myself in situations where i'm uncomfortable so i've been doing that more recently and i've actually been enjoying it surprise surprise uh last week last week caitlin and i went to do claw brewing because they were releasing a beer called unicorn farts which actually has glitter in the beer edible glitter in the beer it doesn't end up all over you so don't worry about that but um i got there around 6 30 and caitlin had been stuck in traffic and she was like, I'm gonna be there 15 minutes late. And normally what I would have done is I would have waited in the car for her to arrive and we would have walked in together. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> you can't do this. You can't be this person. You're almost 31 years old. So I got out of the car and I walked in and I saw a girl standing by herself at a table and I just went over and I started talking to her and I introduced myself to her and she was there alone in the interim and I was there alone in the interim. And until our people got there, we just chatted and we had a really nice time. And even Caitlin got there, she was like, I couldn't believe I walked in and you were talking to someone. It's like, I know. And you say people can't change, you know? People can change. I'm growing, I'm learning every day. If you find that you're like me and it's hard for you to talk to new people, just do it. Like just try because guess what I've learned? they feel the same exact way. Like they are also feeling awkward. It's like when you can tell that someone's staring down at their phone and there's no one else around them, they're probably just staring at their phone because it's like busy work and they don't want to appear as though they're alone. I don't know. So I just want to so meet new people, make new friends, you know, build this little girl gang we got going on. Also, I have so much, I don't know if this is like new growth or breakage or whatever is happening, but I don't really love it. Um, oh, you're just sticking right up there. Wow. Uh, also, this was an ingrown hair in the very front of my head. And of course, I scratched the shit out of it and made it bleed. But you know what? I'll put a little concealer on it. You'll never see it. Elise, if you're watching this. I had to put my planter outside because it was dead, dead as hell. But let me show you what I did with the succulents. That was a planter that Caitlin and I made and in it, it had three succulents. And when the plants were dying, she said we could take the succulents out and we could repot them. And I really didn't have time to do it at all this week. So I just stuck them in my fiddle leaf fig tree. Um, and I'm hoping that they'll be okay. My God, tell me if they're gonna die or if they're gonna kill my fiddle leaf because I'll be really sad. 
This fiddle leaf looks like garbage. He has never sprouted a new leaf, which is shocking because I do, I do treat him the same as my other fiddle leaf, um, which is thriving. I'll show you him too. Both my fiddle leaf's names are Frank. <laughs> so this is my other guy. He looks great. He is thriving. He is three years old. Um, this is a new leaf. I don't know if you can tell, it's like very soft and very light green compared to the others. So this guy, he's my pride and joy. Fiddle leaves are expensive. Um, and they're also very tricky to keep alive is what I've heard. But I've been trying to do a really great job. He's had two new leaves sprout within the past couple of weeks. I honestly think a new one is gonna come out of here pretty soon, but we'll see. Oh, let me show you this actually. This came in the mail for Caitlin and I last week. Pixie always sends us the best packages, the best PR packages. So this um, says, love the skin you're in, hashtag skin treats. Wait until you see this. Bam! They sent us so many goodies. So they sent like a cleansing cloth, um, these deep puff eye patches. Oh my goodness. These are the Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. I'm actually gonna pop some of these on this morning uh, after I wash my face. We have a Glow Mud Mask, a Peel and Polish, that sounds like it might be an exfoliator, um, three Glow Glycolic Boost Sheet Masks. These are gonna have to go straight to Caitlyn because my skin does not react well to glycolic acid, even in the smallest doses. And then we also have a T-Zone Peel-Off Mask. So we'll divide these up. I was telling Caitlyn the other day, we need to get like baby travel bottles because um, I can tell we're definitely gonna wanna try all of these things, except for me with these. I'm just gonna give them to her. Um, so yeah, thank you, Pixie. This is always so exciting. You are just the cutest. You're the cutest. Okay, it's a little bit later and I'm just going to do a spit up version of a get ready with me. I am I might link my stuff below, but it's just gonna be a quick makeup, 10, 15 minutes max. So let's get started. <laughs> lipstick, face, bronzer, blush, brows, mascara. That's it. Um, I don't fuck with highlighter. I don't fuck with baking. I don't do eyeshadow or eyeliner or any of that. It's just like wh whack it on. Look cuter than I did when I woke up. Put some lipstick on and you're done. Now I have to get back to my Fleetwood Mac listening because I don't know if you know this or not, but we're seeing them on Sunday. You will have already, it will have already passed. I'm sure I had a great time. I'm sure we're gonna talk about it later in the video. <laughs> snacky treat 
wait for the ride. We're gonna do these because they're bigger. Okay. Oh, oh, remember yay. I told you I love them? Uh huh. I found little baggies last night. Baggies. Okay, sluts. We're back. Yeah, baby. Wow, my hair is floofy when I blow dry. We gotta go so fast. We do have to go so fast. I'm gonna start like chopping. You wanna just do the full intro? Sure, sure, sure. Good morning. Uh, as you may know, Caitlin and I have a loft wellness Wait. and shopping event this morning. Who are we? Oh, hi. 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 We're Caitlin and Danielle of our time of the month. We are. And um, your dog thinks we're playing a game. He's so cute though. He does not know that today is not a game. Today no. is all. Get out of there, Berkeley! Today's work. This is a granola bar. That is literally not for you. So I'm not gonna edit any of this out because this is literally how it is every single time that we're together. Yeah. The dog is always a menace. Up my butt. Um, so we have an, a, 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 a we have a wellness and shopping event with Loft in Apples Harbor this morning. Yes, I said this morning, as in less than two hours away from now. Yeah, we have less we than an hour to get to get ready. We haven't even gotten ready yet. But priorities. I've already steamed my shirt. That took like ten fucking minutes. Priorities so. is a is a cocktail. Yeah. So that's, say I have these, you didn't have to bring them. I just wasn't sure. Okay. You gonna give me a splinter? Um, so naturally, even though we only have an hour to get to go from this to like Glam. event ready, we're still gonna take the time to make fucking cocktails. But quickly. Absolutely. So Wow. No. Really? It's it tastes good. <laughs> what is this laugh? I don't even know. Good morning. Look at that connection. Also, we're doing it live and it's probably so early for most people. But I bet you people aren't even up right now. <sighs> That's okay. But you know, then we're also just like filming a vlog. I think I have a cut in the inside of my mouth up all the way up here. So we need to leave. Mm. God. In oh my god, 45 fucking minutes. Okay. Hi. We're Hi. Gonna, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna be doing speed makeup. Oh, let me put you a little further away, a little further down. Don't look at my titties. Hi, ladies. Okay. We sort of goofed this, but that's okay. Oh, we're drinking breakfast beers. <laughs> Literally called an, a cold rolled breakfast stout featuring Rise Up Coffee Roasters. It tastes similar to a lot of the stouts that we've been purchasing recently. I'm into it. I'm in a prime. Mm -hmm. I've been using this and I really like it. I have been randomly, you know, trying to clear off the crap from my collection. And so I have been using um, the Clinique Pep Start oh, yeah. primer. Which I like, but I try. it's too silicone-y for me normally, but to get it out of my... Can I feel it? Ooh, it's so soft. Mm-hmm. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is new. And I'm telling you what, you want your makeup to stick to something, this is it. I'm, wow. I'm leaving you behind. My boobs are sweating so bad already, it's only 8.40 in the morning, <laughs> or whatever time it is. I'm just whole body sweating. We're gonna have to eat in the car, I hope Mike knows that. I saw Courtney last night, she was selling donuts at Waverly. Oh, how was she? So I bought four. Oh, what'd you get? I got Dunkaroo, which I was very excited uh, about. Was it good? It was really good. Um, Mike got Old Fashioned, yeah. which was delicious. Uh, we got Choco Taco, which is still downstairs. We mm -hmm. haven't eaten it. And then Mike also got Espresso. Oh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. So what are you guys doing today? I don't know if you know, but Caitlin and I have a very busy day, as described by Mike. Fuck! We have to introduce ourselves to Makers of Maryland. We're gonna have to do it on the way down. Yep. My God. That's okay. It's it's like 8 a.m. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's 8.30. <laughs> I did my taxes last night. I know. How'd it go? I will be getting a refund. Are you rich? No. It's like so much less than my refund last year, which is really upsetting. Because you're making more. No, not really. Mm. I mean, 1.75% more or something. <gasps> I don't really uh, think that counts. I no. think what it is is that I'm investing so much more in my retirement, so then I didn't pay income tax on oh, it. Right. Is that true? Is that yeah. what it is? It's it's not taxable income. Uh, so, and then I think also just like tax shit changed, and so yeah, it did. Uh, everyone's shit is just less. I can't even. I except I, rich people's probably. 
I don't even want to know what mine's going to be like. I haven't done them yet. I'm too depressed to think about it. So, uh, just a little hat. A loft, man. A bunch of fun, a bunch of fun, like clean beauty brands are here. Husband's here. He got himself coffee. He didn't get us coffee this time. That's what I was going to say. I wish I would have known we were going there. <laughs> Jeans. Show us the butt. Nice. Ta da! And my earrings are these beautiful, like, chandelier dangle earrings from Loft. They're probably six months old. Uh, They're from I Loft. I wear them all the time. I want them so badly. They're very, very lightweight, too. So that's important to me. Beautiful. Thank you. Hi, good morning. We made it to the Loft event. We did. There are so many fun vendors here. A bunch of like clean beauty vendors. Doterra is here, Arbonne's here, Beauty Counter's here, Gap's here. Um, we're really excited. And they have a whole new fall. We have, not whole new fall, whole new spring line out. We were here a week ago. I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye. I know, there's like more stuff that I don't yeah. even remember seeing. So <laughs> we're definitely going to be doing some shopping. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the whole point of this. <laughs> not for us. We so. hope to see you though. <laughs> yeah, if we do see you, I cannot wait. Oh, we'll put you in the like video. Bernadette's Bernadette's coming. Bernadette's coming, yeah. Love Bernadette. Bernadette. Okay, Bernadette. so we will uh, we will check in in a little bit. Good morning. I don't think Caitlin and I closed out the vlog yesterday. We had our loft event. It was a huge success. So thank you if you came out to the event and supported loft and the other vendors that were there. We had a great time with you guys, as always. Um, today is Sunday, which is also Fleetwood Mac Day. Uh, me and Caitlin, her mom, her sister, and my dad are going to see Fleetwood Mac tonight. In Baltimore we're not sitting together but we've all got tickets um, and so I'm doing a little mask we're doing the not we who else is here I'm doing the pixie skin treats glow mud mask this is my second time using it I really like it um, and it's a beautiful day so I'm gonna sit outside have a beer with Mike and get ready for the day Hi there, a totally new day. We're just stringing these vlogs together. I actually went to Costco this afternoon. While I was there, I didn't tell you this, Mike. While I was there, I sent Caitlin a photo of the green free granola that she likes. Yeah. And she texted me right back and said, I'm at Costco right now. And I was like, wait, which one are you at? We were at different Costco's, but um, I found something that Mike loves. I love it too. I had no idea that Costco would be a place that I could find this. Um, because we can't find it anywhere else, so I'm gonna give it to him now. Keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed, just keep them yeah, closed. I'm showing the camera. Um, I know that people would never get excited about something like this, but it's heavy. Okay, I got it. Oh my god, the pickles. Yeah! <laughs> but look what flavor they are! I know, I saw that. Can you believe it? You'll be gone in about a day. 550! A jar is like four bucks. I know, five fifty. Why did you buy? They more? had an entire pallet. I thought about getting a couple jars. We'll have to go back and get them. Can you even believe that? Fuck yeah, good buy. Thank you. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna—he's actually gonna be so excited. Hell yeah, I love pickles. Right? I hope you love Great them. Job. Okay, so <laughs> no one's gonna understand this. These are the best pickles in the world, especially if you love to make charcuterie boards like we do. They're a little bit sweet, but mostly a little spicy. Um, oh my God, they're just so good. Oh, and spicy, that's really, mm. They have a zing, they have a zing to them. Um, but Famous Dave's I think is local, isn't it? Yeah. 
And they used to sell it in our local grocery store and then they just totally disappeared. Um, so we found the huge, I found the huge jar. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you really quickly what I got at Costco. Um, they put a new one in kind of close to our house and it's actually a really great one. So I thought I'd share with you the snacks that I'm using as an alternative to potato chips and ice cream and cookies. So the first thing that I found were these Blue Diamond Smokehouse Almonds, and I got them because they were flavored, but also because um, it was a 2.81 2 pound bag, and it was on sale for $9.99. Honey, $9.99. Isn't that great? Um, and then for sweet things, I really love chocolate covered oranges, so I got the dark chocolate covered tangerines. Um, as far as a snack fruit goes, I felt like it was, it's better than getting like M&M's or something. So I already, as you can tell, I already busted into them on the way home. And then these are some of my favorite things at Costco and they don't always have them, but when they do, I always stock up. The crispy coconut rolls, they are delicious. They have black sesame seeds in the, in the roll. It's just really nice, crunchy, sweet treat that again, isn't so terrible for you. Um, this was in Caitlin's favorites one month the grain-free granola, and all the ingredients that you see here are the only things in the granola. Um, and again, whoop, throw it on the floor. As far as carbs in granola, 10, well, 10 minus three, so seven carbs, that's not bad at all. Um, and then I noticed that they had the matching bars, so I picked those up as well. I'm pretty sure they're all the same flavor. We did get pasta. We don't cook it often, I don't know, less than once a month, I would say. But when we do, I really like to have like whole durum wheat or, you know, durum wheat semolina. Um, and we, these are like our three favorite pasta shapes. Penne, what's this one? What the heck is this one? Fancy shit. Jamelli and, you know, I'm not going to pronounce them. The spiralies. We like those a lot. They soak up sauces really nicely. Um, we're going away this weekend and... We're gonna cook a couple fun meals. Then I also got this double Italian dry salami meat pack. This was also on sale for $9.99. Isn't that great? Um, I picked up a case of sparkling water. Usually they have the lemon lime grapefruit, but today it was cran raspberry berry and tangerine. And I've never had the berry, so we're gonna give that a try. I picked up chicken tenderloins. So there are six packs in here and we'll put these in the freezer. Same with chicken thighs, six packs in here. This is gonna last us quite a while. We shouldn't have to make any trips to the store for meat. Um, they were doing samples of the Teton grass-fed beef Polish sausages. They were delicious. We've had these in the past and they're just something nice and quick to throw together for dinner. And then the Kirkland thick sliced bacon is our favorite. We roast this in the oven and it gets nice and thick. Not nice and thick. <laughs> it gets nice and crispy. Um, it kind of melts in your mouth. I know that sounds weird, but they sell it in a two pack. Put one in the freezer and one in the refrigerator. I got a three pack of butter lettuce. I think this was $4.99. Uh, their cage free eggs are always a no brainer for us. I almost wish I would have gotten two. We've had these in the past, the little potato company. Uh, it's a Bat. It's a five pound bag of baby potatoes, both gold and red, and they just taste really nice roasted up with just oil and salt and pepper. Uh, organic baby spinach. I love to eat spinach for dinners. I got a package of the Wild Wonders tomatoes. Those are our favorites. I like the tri-colored ones. I just think they are a bit more sweet. I got canola oil cooking spray because we were out. Always, always stocking up on the Kerrygold salted butter. Um, as I mentioned, we're going away this weekend to celebrate our anniversary, and we love to snack on meats and cheeses, so I got meat and cheeses. Heavy whipping cream because one of the pastas that I'm making is not healthy, and it calls for heavy whipping cream. I got organic Greek yogurt. Yo yogurt? Yogurt. <laughs> I got organic Greek yogurt. I'm going to start having this for breakfast with some of the grain-free granola on top. And then I picked up the Simply Italian Dressing by Wishbone. Did I get anything else? Oh, and of course the pickles. So all of this, now mind you, I got a lot of meats um, and dairy products, was $214. We love you. Yeah, and <laughs> if you have any video requests, be sure to leave them in a comment. We aim to please. 
We do. I mean, we're here for you. We are. And we will, oh yeah. So watch our last video, watch, watch our next video, watch all the videos. Thank you and we will see you later. Bye.